Hi guys, welcome off to 10th Beer Reviews. My name is Chris and today we're going to do a beer from a brewery that I enjoy having. These guys are pretty good. They're out of Gravenhurst, Ontario. Today from Sawdust City Brewing, we are taking a look at Narnia, uh, the little, little IPA. Narnia, that's right, Narnia. I've heard good things about this beer, so I'm actually excited to have this one. Uh, but before we even open it, let's take a look at this beer right up close. All right, like I said, from Gravenhurst, Ontario, Canada, we are taking a look at, from Sawdust City Brewing, we're taking a look at Narnia, the little IPA. Uh, it's coming in at 5.5% alcohol by volume. It's in a 473 milliliter can, 20 IBUs at the time of this recording, I think it is, yeah, it's 20 IBUs, and the hops they're using on this one are Citra, Mosaic, and Idaho 7. Idaho 7, yay, oh, and by the way, this is also a collaboration with um, some kind of um, cycling association, because they make beer. But regardless, I want to get into this beer, let's open it up. I gotta give it a little roll. Um, yeah, no date on the bottom of this can, so I don't know how old it is. I hope it's not LCBO age where it's going to be sickly. Oh no, it looks okay. Oh, it's hazy. It's a hazy haze. All right, so let's take a look at this beer. What did I say it was? 5.5. 5.5%. A little bit lower than the average IPA. Hence why this is probably called a little IPA. All right, poured off yellow. That is gorgeous. That's a glowing yellow, like the sun on a nice hot summer day, which I wish it was right now, but it's not, it's springtime. Uh, poured off with two two fingers of a nice bright white, small bubble, soapy looking bubbled head on it. Yeah, it looks fucking inviting, but I wanna smell it first. Oh, oh, mosaic and citra, Idaho 7. They're all in there and they're all freaking coming through like crazy. All right, we're getting a huge citrus note on this one. This is like, Citra dominated, I believe. Well, the mosaic will do it too, but yeah, there is huge amounts of grapefruit kind of scent, a little bit of pithiness from this one. Large orange flesh kind of scent coming as well from this one. Yeah, it's a it's a hazy. It's a hazy juice bomb. I'm pretty much just picking up all the citra notes that are on that one. I'm not picking up anything else like when it comes to tropical notes. No, it's got citra all day on it. Anyway, cheers. I want to drink this one. All right. Oh, let's talk about how fucking poundable this beer is. Five and a half percent. This is such a sessionable IPA. And it doesn't even say it on there. Yeah, hoppy and sessionable. It is such a sessionable IPA. I would never, ever, ever pass this one up. This one is so good that the body on this beer is straight up medium. It's a straight up medium bodied 5.5% alcohol crusher. Um, good carbonation on this one. That body and mouthfeel, that mouthfeel being a medium, medium mouthfeel, but the body itself is like, it's creamy. It's easy to drink. It's going down really, really smooth. Um, obviously you're not going to be able to tell it's 5.5%. However, what will tell me that this is a lower ABV beer, because a lot of these hazies, they can be sitting at eight and a half, nine percent look like this body could be the exact same feel, but the difference between something that's a double as opposed to a single IPA like this one, or even a little IPA, they want to call this one is the amount of flavor that's coming through. It's got the flavor on the notes. You're picking up that citrus note. They're picking up a little orange kick on this one, body and uh, flesh and pith of an orange kind of tasting note on that, as well as some grapefruit pithiness is coming through on this one, but it's very dialed back. It's there, but it's not huge. And to be honest with you, at a single IPA like this, you don't expect it to be huge. However, I kind of wish it had a little bit more than it has right now. But regardless, it's still tasty. It's just that it's not super tasty. I don't know if, if that makes any sense to you guys. Uh, it starts off sweet. It starts off sweet with that, 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 no, oh, hold on. Let 
Yeah, now I'm picking up a very faint melon and a, and a very faint pineapple kick come through, like giving this more of a tropical kind of taste to it. Uh, it's very dialed back, but you can, eat, after a couple sips, you can pick it up. It's starting to come through on the beer. Yeah, definitely. Okay, going back to what I was saying, it starts off a little bit sweet. Not super sweet or, or, or cloning or anything like that. It's sweet, but then it, that citra, that pithiness is kicking in about halfway down through the palate. I feel like I repeat myself every time I do one of these beers, but halfway through the palate, you get a little bit of a bitterness, not much at all, very mild bitterness, and it doesn't even dry out your finish. It's just a smooth finish, clean finish on this one. Yeah, I can't argue with this beer being at 5.5% and being a sessionable IPA. It totally is a sessionable IPA. It, it's one of those ones where you can sit down in your backyard on a nice hot day, even though like a warmer spring day, doesn't matter. You're gonna sit outside, maybe do some yard work like I did today, drink some beers. This one, you could you wouldn't even get sick of it. Like, that's the thing, with double IPA, sure, everyone wants to just drink double IPAs all day long, but you know what, in honesty, you start having more than two double IPAs of the same beer, you're not gonna want the third one, I'll tell you right now. It's, it ends up just ruining your palate. And that's what I like about this beer. I don't think it would even have the potential to ruin the palate, to be honest with you, because the flavors are not super huge, or it's not totally taking over like your entire mouth and your taste buds and stuff like that. But it's good. It's a crushable, sessionable IPA. But, okay. Anyway, guys, I'm done with my own opinion on this one. And in my own opinion, the Narnia Little IPA from Sada City Brewing out of Gravenhurst, Ontario is fucking dynamite. And by dynamite, I mean it's a 100% sessionable beer. I would never turn this down. I would totally buy this one again. And yeah, there we go. Oh, and coming up very soon, we are going to do a little bit of a change on the channel uh, where I'm going to start rating beers. I know. Settle down. I know it's crazy. I'm probably going to rate some beer soon coming up. Probably out of, I don't know if I'm going to go to five out of 10, but I figure, you know what? I'm getting some people asking me, why aren't you giving any scores? So you know what? I might start doing it and take it for what it's worth because basically it's all my own opinion. So whether you like my score or not, it's re it, it doesn't really matter. You got to go try the beers anyway. Anyway, I'm done with my own opinion, guys. If you liked the video, click the like button down below. Feel free to subscribe if you're new here. Hit that notification bell, guys, and you guys can just check me out drinking all these little lapis and start scoring, I guess. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.